Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Sintel with the Intel, and we are getting ready to do another video reaction to the Disney Plus presentation that they had a few days ago. Yeah, I know, I know, I'm a little bit late, but it took me a second. You know, all this goodness. I'm hearing that they got some amazing stuff coming out. I'm hearing stuff. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Uh, I'm I, stuff the like Moon Knight and a whole bunch of other things. You know, if we know Disney. Disney always got everything set up and ready to go, be it with movies and with series. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscription button, click the bell icon so that you can get up to date notifications every time something like this drops. You know, you want to hang out with your boy and see it live and direct. That's how you see it, man. Hit the alert button, man, so you'll know. And also, be sure to give a thumbs up and leave those comments. So, let's go ahead and get this bad boy started and see what Disney is talking about for their next rendition of television and movies and everything else amazing in Marvel. Let's go. All right, Moon Knight. Got my boy Oscar Isaacs. Whoa, you saw him move I in can't the. Tell uh, the difference. <laughs> Yo, it is uh, reflections to the same. And dreams. The voice in your head. That's kind of dark. It's very like Batman like, too, right? It devours you. Whoa. Well, that was kind of quick. Hold on, let's take a look at that real quick. I saw something that was kind of interesting. Um, one, when he first wakes up, you know, he's walking. Walking by like an image of himself. Let me see. Yeah, that part right there, yo, that's kind of gnarly. Let, so um, I'm not a hundred percent sure on everything that Moon Knight does, but I think he's he he gets his powers from like uh, an Egyptian god, and he's kind of like a Batman-ish kind of thing. He's got gadgets, he's got magic, he's walking around with a cowl and a and a cape. <laughs> so he's like Marvel's answer to that as well. But um. I think he's also uh, a little bit crazy. He's got like a, a couple of different personalities. Like one of them is like he's like a cabbie. Another one is his real self. And then, of course, there's the uh, there's the Moon Knight persona that goes along as well. So with him being shown kind of like looking a little bit confused and looking around, uh, I guess that's like letting us know as the viewers that that is what we're going to focus on a little bit more. The the actual man behind the mask. I can't tell the difference between my waking life and dreams. Yeah, Oscar Isaac is a beast, though. The voice. He's gonna come with it. In your head. I love this little beatdown shot right here, too, because, you know, if, if it's one thing that Batman is really known for, especially with some of the, the, the new footage that we've seen regarding uh, the Batman that is going to be released really soon, it's just like the, the violent factor of the vigilante side of Bruce Wayne, and you get a chance to see this. It's a full-blown corridor, as you can see right here, of my man just uh, of the camera just kind of shooting down and we get a chance to like witness some of this violence that's going down uh just to let you know that he's not like you know like a regular kind of run-of-the-mill uh superman type of uh of a hero where he's gonna try and like save you and give you to the police for questioning and stuff moonlight looks like he's administering justice by his own hands Okay. All right, Disney. Let's see what we got next. Secret Invasion. Oh, we got some footage of Secret Invasion. Scroll attack. Yo, that's it. That's all you gonna give us? They just gonna give us like a quick. Sh a quick shot of Sam Jackson. Yo, Sam, Sam's looking a little bit long in the tooth on this one, though, right? Look at this. My man looks like he might have seen some things. Oh, here's something that I just noticed here, but he doesn't have the patch. Some conspiracy theories regarding uh, Nick Fury. Well, it's not even conspiracy theories. It's things that are actually done in the comic regarding Nick Fury not being the real Nick Fury, and that he's actually a scroll who is somebody that can, like, body morph and shape shift into other people, like, damn near to, like, uh, down damn near to to their to their cells on a cellular level look exactly like the other person um so this looks like you know maybe they might be kind of talking about that a little bit with the secret invasion you don't see the eye patch he looks a little old and grizzled looks a little haggard um the beard's a little bit longer i'm wondering if this is going to be a movie or is it going to be a series let me see did it see did it say let's take a look real quick nah didn't say um 
I would expect because it's such a long kind of drawn out thing and and um, the series uh, and the success that Marvel is having regarding some of the other series of Disney Plus, you know, you might as well bank out bank on on a series format. So I would guess that it's going to be a series more so than a movie. Now, the next one up is looks like it's going to be Miss Marvel. OK. Miss Marvel. Kamala, let's talk about you. Come on, Let's story. The brown girls from Jersey City. I'm not, I'm not mad at it. It needs world. to be heard. Maybe now they do. I got this right. Totally. Oh, it's going to be a series as well. And the, okay, so Disney's really only giving us like a bunch of little snippets regarding this. Uh, Kamala. I didn't really know a whole lot about Kamala. I'm not going to lie. I didn't really know a whole lot about her uh, until I started playing some of, um, what is it, the Avengers game. And she's like one of the main central characters. It's a good way to kickstart off yet another series. Um, all right. I prom probably going to need to look her up a little bit more so I can get more details. Nothing about that really like blew me away other than the fact that we got introduced to her. She-Hulk. Yeah. Now this I've been waiting for a little bit. I'm Jennifer Walters. I'm a normal lawyer. Well, All right. not that normal. These transformations are triggered by anger. Hey, hey there we go. Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Ah. <laughs> Streaming series coming soon again. Okay, the, the best part about that is the don't make me angry. You won't like me when I'm angry because it's a good throwback to the old 1980s version of it being said. I know it was said in the comics as well, but... I think it gained more traction after the old 80s version of Bruce Banner saying, don't make me angry. You won't like me when I'm angry. And then she's standing next to the Hulk. Okay, I'm, I'm with that. Let's keep it moving. What if season two? What if it's good this time around? No. Uh, Agatha, House of Harkness. Okay, we kind of knew she was having. Spider-Man freshman year. Okay, that's not bad. Echo. All these are just like series. Not a lot of movies going on. But this is Disney Plus, so this what this is going to be i am groot that's going to do good iron heart yo this just got a bunch of bangers uh marvel zombies we kind of kind of figured that was going to happen and then x-men 97 that's the one that's kind of like really interesting to me because i was a huge i, I didn't turn into a super fan of x-men until i started watching the original 90s series and then i just really like went all in and the tone um, and then the ser the, the opening uh, theme song that you know what I'm talking about <laughs> yo that was that was my joint uh, for them to bring that back I hope they don't change the opening sequence um, that was just too good to to let go um, they didn't really show any other footage of it regarding it let's see let's see what we got uh, let me see where we at the what if. How did you all feel about What If Season 1? I thought it was just okay. It was kind of interesting to see them kind of like tie it all together. We may have some unanswered questions uh, regarding some of the characters, like the relationship of the new Black Widow that's being thrust into a whole new universe. Um, we got a chance to see old Cap being trapped in the suit. So he's Steve Rogers might be back. Uh, he could be a zombie as well because they didn't really open up the suit to see if he was in there because... You know, you probably have some questions that might want to be asked, like how in the world was he preserved that long? Um, and then um, the Zombies movie being a spinoff of the What If. So you got a spinoff off of a spinoff, kind of. We'll see how that works. Uh, you know what I, I do kind of hope happens when they do the when they do the, the Marvel Zombies is that I'm hoping that they have some episodes where it's a little creepy and scary because this one was really tongue-in-cheek they was cracking jokes more so than anything else <laughs> in this version of marvel zombies so if they change that up that would be nice uh iron heart should be interesting um we don't know when any of this is coming out exactly there are there's, there are some big rumors that the young lady that's playing the new iron man that's playing iron heart is going to be debuted in the being told that the lady playing Ironheart is going to be in the upcoming Black Panther movie. So we'll get a chance to take a look at her and see how smart she is and how she's implementing some of this dark technology. We'll see how that goes. I'm a little excited about that. I, most of this stuff is I want to be really excited, but until I can see more of it in action instead of just, you know, title cards, um, it's kind of tough. 
Uh, I am Groot. Of course, that's got a big, gigantic fan following. I'm sure they're going to make that as kid as possible because they got Kid Groot on top of it. So it'll be Disney's attempt to reach down and and talk to some of the kiddies because, you know, kiddies want to see stuff, too. Um, Echo should be interesting as well. That should be a spinoff of the Hawkeye. That should be a spinoff off of Hawkeye. Now, Echo should have some, inter some interesting implications as well because she's tied into a couple of other things, uh, not not just Hawkeye, but she's also tied into, um, into Daredevil as well. So there is some rumors and some speculation that Daredevil Matt Murdock is going to be in the next Spider-Man. Plus, he should be getting his own series in the future as well. So that could be a good tie-in. So you got Hawkeye tying into Echo and then Echo tying into Daredevil. And then, you know, it's off to the races again. So this is more of like a, a stopgap, I guess you can say, uh, towards uh, another property that people are really absolutely interested in, that is Daredevil. But I really do hope Echo is good, too. I'm a fan of villains, too, and Echo's father figure is supposed to be the kingpin. So we're going to see some, you know, hopefully a rendition of him coming back as well. So it's a bunch of older characters that we saw on some of the old Netflix properties that could be coming back. And let's see what else was the last one. Spider-Man uh, freshman year. Now, I think this is supposed to be an animation because of the arrangement that Sony has with Marvel and, and with Disney. Like they can only do like the live action. Uh, I'm not exactly sure on that. But hey, it's Spider-Man uh, freshman year. We'll get a chance to see another Uncle Ben story more than likely. I'm sure he's going to get shot yet again. And with great power comes great responsibility to not play that same storyline over and over again. And then, of course, here's a, the one that really got me interested is the Agatha House of Harkness. That is because Agatha has a really close relationship and tie in with the Fantastic Four. So I'm all about that Fantastic Four and getting my Reed Richards on. And if this ties into that and her watching like Reed Richards' kids, because that's kind of like how some of the storyline goes on. There's a lot more to it than just that, obviously. But um, anything to bring more brand new, refreshing properties into the Marvel Universe. So we'll see how that goes as well. I think that's about that about wraps it up. Uh, so Disney came in and showed us some snippets of, uh, of a few things and then just gave us a bunch of, you know, gigantic titles for other stuff. Are you excited? It's a lot, man. I mean, Kevin Feige, Kevin Feige, Feige, I think I'm saying that correctly. Uh, Kevin Feige did say there was going to be a lot of content that he's going to be dropping on us. And this is any indication. Yeah, it's, it's going to be the year of Marvel for quite some time. Uh, this is dope. Let's just see how it all pans out. All right, so that's going to be it for today. This is your boy, Sintel, with the Intel Police. Make sure you hit that subscription button and click the bell icon so that you can get up-to-date notifications every time this new information drops. And, of course, leave those comments. Out of, the, out of all of this, I'm trying to think what I am the most excited for. Um, shoot, it's probably going to be Moon Knight because I got a chance to actually see something, and I love Oscar Isaacs. That dude can do no wrong. All right, so that's it for this one, and I will holler at you later. Peace out.